The ending of Under the Bridge Episode 5 raises big questions like what Kelly and Josephine plan to do with Dusty. This episode starts where Under the Bridge Episode 4 ends with Rena and Dusty discovering the boots in Kelly's boots. As the show goes on, Kelly, Rena, and Dusty decide to go to Mexico. Beforehand, they decide to blame Warren by reporting him for Rena's murder. The teens start making plans, and Rebecca offers to help them in order to gain their trust. These four go to the space where the Crips hang out in order to get money. Everyone suspects Rebecca of being a police officer, so she drops acid with Warren in order to prove she's trustworthy. While in an intoxicated state, Rebecca tells Warren about her brother Gabe, and Warren tells Rebecca about Rena's murder. This entire episode brings up multiple questions about the motivation of Under the Bridge characters. Joe and Kelly tell Dusty they're going to Mexico. What are they really planning? Going to Mexico has an underlying message. Throughout Under the Bridge episode 5 Dusty, Kelly, and Josephine plan to go to Mexico in order to escape from the police. They decide on a ferry and get the money, making it seem like they intend to follow through. However, when they approach Dusty about Mexico at the end, their tone and expressions make it clear there is an underlying meaning to their words. There's a looming threat to Dusty's safety. Combining this with the fact that they believe she is going to crack under pressure, it's likely that they are planning to find a way to silence her. This could be something as simple as getting her alone and verbally threatening her. They could beat her up and tell her to shut up, an action that would match their past behaviors. Alternatively, in the worst-case scenario, they could try to kill Dusty to silence her forever. This would fit more with Kelly's personality than it would with Josephine's personality. Joe talks a big talk, but she doesn't have the depravity to actually follow through on a murder threat. However, with the influence of Kelly, Josephine might stoop to murderous behaviors she otherwise wouldn't display. Why Dusty only signed Warren's name, and not Kelly's? Dusty needed to preserve her alliances and protect herself when Dusty goes to the police department, Cam confronts her about the phone call she made to report Warren Glowatsky as the killer. Rather than recant, Dusty doubles down on her assertion, at which point Cam gives her a witness statement to sign. The officer clearly explains that the police will arrest whomever she writes down as the killer. Ultimately, Dusty signs the statement for two reasons. Firstly, she agreed with Kelly and Josephine that none of them would turn on each other. By pointing the finger at Warren, Dusty upholds her word, proving her trustworthiness. This creates an obligation for Kelly and Josephine to have Dusty's back and help her evade legal trouble. She also proves that she can be a part of the Crip Mafia cartel. There's also an element of self-preservation related to Dusty putting down Warren's name and not Kelly's. Warren is relatively tame, being soft-spoken for someone who commits murder. He doesn't seem inclined to point a finger or speak up. As such, he's a safe target. However, Kelly is a loose cannon with a tendency for vengeance and outbursts. If Dusty put Kelly's name down on the paper, the latter teen would have ample opportunity to blame people like Dusty and Josephine, both of whom had a hand in the attack but not the murder. Moreover, since she has Rena's shoes, Kelly would have ammunition with which she could frame the other girls. It would be simple for Kelly to place the shoes in her friend's rooms with how often she hangs out at Seven Oaks in Under the Bridge.